mean, obviously, we're now six months on from uh, the disaster, um, and I think people are really hoping we might see relatively swift justice. They don't want to see justice delayed on this. Um, so I wanted to ask you about the offences that may not be related to the scene, because I realise the scene is incredibly complicated and that's taken you a long time to look at. Um, specifically that you're looking at the, the companies involved in potentially, the organisations involved in managing the building and how that might have involved some criminality. Can you give us an update on those parts of the investigation that you're doing? Um, have you interviewed any people um, from potential suspect companies or whatever in under caution? Are you thinking about how you, how, which charges you might bring in that respect? So I, I think I do need to go, <coughs> go back a, a, a step, really, um, and um, make it clear that, you know, we're doing a whole series of things in parallel. But if we were to get to the stage of putting a file to the Crown Prosecution Service, it would, it would uh, in, in relation to this investigation, it would clearly need to contain evidence from a variety of different areas, including, not least, the examination of the scene. Um, so I wouldn't want you to get the impression, Sean, that if, hypothetically, uh, we were able quickly to identify, um, which is very unlikely, actually, but a particular person or body that appeared to have, in first blush, you know, to be primarily involved in this, uh, we wouldn't be expecting to bring a, 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 a file to the CPS in relation to that body until we've got the rest of the evidence marshalled. And that, I'm afraid, is just the way it has to be. I mean, they, they would just say, well, they, obviously they're alongside us and they're interested, but they wouldn't be prepared to look at a file until we have the full evidence uh, to make a decision. And therefore, it will, I'm afraid, that in terms of getting towards a stage where files are going to the prosecution to CPS, if they do, uh, to prosecute people, it will take some time. Uh, where we will be at that stage saying, is that do you believe that it's sufficient evidence and it's in the public interest to prosecute? This is going to be a long operation, and we've always said that. I'm afraid, uh, and there's there's no way of getting away from that. In relation to the um, whole, uh, and I know you've heard from Martin Hewitt on this before, but the enormous number of parties. I mean, we're talking about possibly, I think, 300 different parties involved in um, the uh, uh, sort of um, building maintenance management. And we have to work our way through um, looking at all, all of the evidence in relation to those 300, all the relevant evidence in relation to those 300. Um, so I'm not going to give a ticker tape update on who we've spoken to about what, when, as we go forward. I think that would be utterly inappropriate. I think I can say at the moment um, that, um, as far as I'm aware, we have not uh, interviewed anybody, as you put it, under caution. That's as far as I can go at the moment. Okay, um, and the investigation still um, goes on into, I think uh, the number we had was 336 mm -hmm. organisations that you needed to get yeah. information from. Yeah. Um, so within that, you, you're not narrowing that down to a smaller number that you're considering to be more like suspects rather than people with evidence, witnesses? We, we, are, we, we are in touch with 336 organisations. You'll be aware, I think, that we've written to them. Uh, and um, we are ensuring that they do not um, uh, destroy any evidence, of course, uh, and um, we'll, we will be you know, in further communication with all of them. Okay, thank you. Um, so my final question um, relates to, well, companies that might be uh, involved in this tower. Um, obviously, these are companies that do this kind of work in other places too, um, and I'm wondering if where the, where the bounds of criminality lie and whether you're investing, investigating any other projects where people might have been left at risk of harm, even if they haven't come to harm, if that makes sense. Um, is, are you widening out, once you've identified potential companies, are you widening out to any of their other work? What we are absolutely doing is, um, and have uh, committed to do as we go forward, is that if we identify anything in our investigation, that raises concerns about public safety elsewhere. Mm -hmm. We will, of course, contact the relevant organisations and government departments, and we're in very close contact, of course, with the DCLG and have been from day one. Uh, so that is, uh, you know, the government's response has been very clearly to try to identify whether there are any other 
matters raised or other, any other places where people might be being currently put at risk and there's an absolute onus on us which we completely understand if we, un if we identify new issues or different places to, to uh, communicate as quickly as possible. Mm. There's an awful lot going on in local government to try yeah. and identify places exactly. that might be at yeah. risk um, and do something about it to yes. minimise those risks. Yes. Um, but does that come into the criminal investigation at all, though, if there are further risks identified and, and people in danger? At the moment, I'm not aware that it has, but it, of course if it did, it could. You see what I mean? Yeah. If people have been living in a tower that they know has been left in a very dangerous state that's been identified through this other work, would they, would they report it to you, or would you find it anyway, is kind of my question. Um, I think, I, I mean, clearly, if people, f if, if people are aware, whether they are a local authority, somebody who runs a building, or somebody who lives in a building, that there is a specific risk which they think could amount to, because of negligence or some other thing, could amount to something which could be a criminal, a criminal matter, then they should be reporting that <laughs> equally. Um, it's our job, and these are very complex issues, as, as you well know. We're working with the, you know, the experts in, in building investigation and building regulation. Um, it's our job to keep other regulatory bodies, for example, informed. Uh, and if we come across something which looks like a criminal offence, of course we'll, 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 we'll either take that into our investigation, if that's appropriate, or we would put it to you know, the appropriate police service to consider and scope. But I'm, at the moment, I'm... I'm uh, yeah, I'm not aware that we have identified any of those. Okay, thank you.